Did you know that learning a new language doesn't just help you connect with more people? It actually can rewire your brain. And I don't mean that metaphorically. Scientific studies show that becoming bilingual or multilingual can reshape your brain structure, boost your memory, sharpen your attention, and even delay age-related cognitive decline like dementia. In this video, I'll walk you through what actually happens inside your brain when you learn a new language. And I'll share some personal stories from my own experience learning over 30 languages over the past 50 years across different continents and cultures. When you start learning a new language, your brain builds new connections and strengthens existing ones, especially in areas linked to memory, attention, and language processing. Studies using MRI scans have shown that language learners develop more gray matter in regions like the left inferior parietal cortex. That's the part involved in learning and cognitive control. Even your hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for forming memories, can grow. So yes, every vocabulary word you learn, every sentence you try to say, is literally helping your brain evolve. And it happens fast. There was one study in Sweden where military recruits took an intensive language course. After just three months, MRI scans showed visible brain growth. So another area that lights up when you learn languages is your prefrontal cortex, the brain's control center. That's the part of the brain that helps you with focus, planning, and switching between tasks. When you're bilingual or multilingual, you get better at filtering out distractions, jumping between ideas, and staying mentally sharp, even in your native language. The ability to manage two tasks at once also improves. When bilinguals or multilinguals speak one language, their brain is still actively suppressing the others. That constant mental juggling strengthens the control network, which helps improve attention and cognitive flexibility overall. In other words, your ability to control your mind. I've noticed that myself. The more languages I learn, the easier it becomes to juggle ideas, switch mindsets, even between completely unrelated topics. And this kind of mental flexibility isn't limited to language use. It spills over into every part of life, especially academic performance. Yes, you heard me right. Language learning actually boosts academic success. In fact, multiple studies have shown that students who study foreign languages tend to do better across the board, not just in language classes, but in math, reading, writing, and even problem solving. There was a fascinating case in Kansas City where students in a foreign language magnet program started learning languages from kindergarten. By the time they reached the fifth grade, they had surpassed national averages in all subjects with their strongest gains in math. And in Canada, French immersion students consistently outperform their peers in the English stream on standardized tests across all major subjects. You might wonder, why is that? Well, because learning a language boosts core cognitive skills like memory, focus, and critical thinking, skills that apply to everything from algebra to literature. So when you invest in language learning, you're not just expanding your vocabulary, you're training your brain to think better, faster, and more creatively in every area of your life. Learning languages shapes your attention, 
And the benefits don't stop at sharper thinking or better grades. Language learning changes how you see the world, literally. Here's how. Different languages just don't give you different words for the same thing. They actually draw your attention to different aspects of reality. And what you pay attention to, what your brain notices, shapes how you understand the world. Take Russian, for example. It has two distinct words for blue. Golaboy for light blue and sini for dark blue. Because of this, Russian speakers are quicker at distinguishing these shades of blue than English speakers. Not because their eyes are different, because their language directs their attention to that difference. And over time, attention becomes perception. That's the fascinating thing about language. It's more than a communication tool. It tells you what to notice, how to mentally categorize things, what matters. And when you speak multiple languages, it's like having multiple lenses for reality. You begin to see things others might miss. You start noticing cultural nuances, social dynamics, and even emotional subtleties, not just as an outsider, but as someone who has tuned into another way of experiencing the world. Because in the end, your reality is shaped by what you focus on, and language helps decide what that is. Language learning also expands your identity and emotional toolkit. And sometimes it goes beyond just noticing. You start to feel like a different version of yourself in each language. I have experienced this over and over again. When I speak Spanish or Brazilian Portuguese, I feel more expressive, more emotionally open. And it brings me back to wonderful memories in Colombia, Brazil, and other South American countries. In Japanese, the language I have spoken most of my life living in Japan as a Japanese citizen for 45 years, I become more careful, more respectful, more attuned to hierarchy and subtlety. In Thai, I feel relaxed. In German, I feel direct and focused. And when I speak Polish, I feel something different again. There was an elegance and formality in the way people spoke Polish in the 1970s and the early 80s during the time I lived in Poland. I often felt that the language itself carried a certain grace, a kind of politeness and dignity that shaped the way I interacted with others. Each language seems to unlock a different rhythm a new mindset, and even a whole new version of who I am. And there's science behind that too. Studies have shown that bilinguals often process emotions differently depending on the language they're using at that time. Some people even find it easier to say difficult things like apologizing or expressing vulnerability in a second language because it creates just enough emotional distance. So learning a language doesn't just change your brain. It can also expand your identity, give you new emotional tools, and help you see yourself and others in a whole new light. Language learning enhances metacognition and lifelong learning. And here's something else that often gets overlooked. Learning a language just doesn't boost your brain at the moment. It changes how you learn, period. Numerous studies have shown that bilinguals tend to score higher than monolinguals on tests in both verbal and nonverbal intelligence. And the longer students engage with a foreign language, the more their ability to analyze, reflect, and self-correct improves. That's called metacognition. 
the ability to think about your own thinking. I felt this shift in my own life. When I was in my teens and started learning Spanish, before I headed to Colombia at age 18, I didn't yet know how I learned best. But now, after studying more than 30 languages, I've developed a kind of internal roadmap. I'm more aware of gaps in my understanding, better at identifying what needs work, and more independent in how I tackle any new subject. Language learning has given me the tools not just to learn languages, but to learn anything more effectively. And your brain can adapt at any age. That's the best part. This mental rewiring isn't limited to kids or young adults. Your brain can adapt at any age. Studies show that even in adulthood, learning a new language stimulates neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself and form new neural connections. It's one of the most powerful cognitive workouts you can give yourself, whether you're 20 or 70. Research also shows that language learners develop stronger working memory, better auditory attention, and more efficient filtering out background noise to focus on what matters. Something that can help you in everything from crowded conversation to high stakes work environments. So when we say learning a language enriches your life, we're not just talking about travel or chatting with locals or watching foreign films. We're talking about a brain that's stronger, sharper, and more adaptable. A mind that's been challenged, rewired, and expanded in the best possible way. So now you know learning a new language is more than just picking up new words and phrases. It's a full body workout for your brain. It expands your identity, sharpens your thinking, and gives you skills that carry into every corner of your life. So what are you waiting for? Drop a comment below and tell me what language you're learning or what language you want to start. Give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more insights from the world of language and culture. Your brain will thank you for it. And if you're interested to know more about how I've studied so many languages, visited so many cultures, and experienced the world in new ways, then please take a look at my website, polyglotdreams.com, where you can see my memoir in multiple languages and also get language learning sets, which have dual readers. In other words, two languages together, for example, English and Chinese, Spanish and Portuguese. So you could use one language to learn the other more quickly and also get the audio so you can listen to it and practice. Again, thank you for listening and see you in the next video.